Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create this beautiful task management tracker in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this beautiful task management tracker. On the top, we are showing some stunning visuals like total task. Then here we have the task count by priority, the number of low, high or medium priority in this beautiful 3D pie chart. Then we have this 3D donor chart wherein we are showing the task count by status. How many number is in progress, not started and completed. Then we have some other charts also. Here we are showing the task count by overdue. So we can see yes count is 12. That means 12 tasks are overdue. And here we have the task count by pending age. If the tasks are pending, we are showing how many are above 20 days, 15 to 20 days, 5 to 10 days or 0 to 5 days or 10 to 15 days. Okay. And we are showing the count. Then we have this data wherein we have the task name and description assigned to you can select from here. So you can just enter this information and then you can just enter the start date by double click here and you can select uh, any date and double click to select the due date also this one. Then the priority can be selected from this drop down and the status also can be selected from drop down. If the status is completed, you need to enter the completion date also and then you can enter the notes. In this below area, we have some formulas so you don't need to touch it. Uh, we have already filled it down so you can use it. So this is a ready to use template and I will also explain step by step in this video how you can create this in Google Sheets. So please watch this video till the end. Now let me show you the list sheet also. Here we have the list of the assigned to and we have the pending days bucket here so that we can get the pending age. Now what I can do, I can simply add a new seat. This is the seat 4. I will tell you from the scratch how you can create this on the seat 4. First, let me go to this and let me copy this data till here. Copy and come to this seat and from the row number 15, we will paste it as a value shift control and V. Okay. Now we will format this from the scratch. So let's select this. Align this center, this middle, reduce the font size around 8 or 9, let's keep 9 and we will increase the column width for this one and we will reduce for this one and for description also, notes you can make it slightly bigger and here we can add some other columns for the formulas like we have added here if you see that is the is overdue pending days and pending is so let me copy the header and I can simply paste it here as a value. Now we can simply select this control a go to the border and you can choose any border from here. So I'm taking let's say this green color and use all borders. Now we will put the background color for our header. So let's go here and let's say I'm taking this one and take the font color as white make it bold. Alright, so this table is ready. Let's go to the view and show and uncheck the grid lines. Okay, now quickly we will create the drop down and we can add some more rows also. So what I can do, I can take this format painter and you can select how many rows you want to add. So some extra rows are added. Now first let me put the drop down on the assign to. So I will select this range, just right click, go to the drop down. And here it has automatically taken, but I will take it from our range. So select the drop down from our range and just click on this select data range and just click in this box, go to the list seat and we will select this range. Click on OK. You can go to the advance option and just check this display style as arrow. Done. So come to the seat 4. So here we can see uh, drop down. Okay. Now for the date, if I click, then you can see nothing is happening. So what I can do, I can select these two columns, then right click, go to the drop down again. And from the criteria, we will choose is valid date. Click on done. Now I will double click that calendar will appear here. 
now we can apply this for the completion date also so i can select this range right click go to the drop down again and select here is valid date done and just close this so if i double click the calendar is appearing all right friends now we will quickly put the formulas for is overdue pending days and pending is as well as we will make this dynamic for the task id so here i will use the sequence function sequence then inside the sequence i will use the count a i will select this range till the end just close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting the automatic sequence number if i will type something here the new number will appear automatically okay now let's come to the is overdue part here in the is overdue we will put yes or no so how we will put the yes and no if completion date is blank then we will consider it as today so what i'm going to do here if and let's select the due date is less than okay and then here we will use again if completion date is blank then take today else take the completion date and just close the bracket and put here then it should be yes else it should be no just close the bracket hit the enter okay so we can autofill just check this so here we can see some are no some are yes so for example this is in progress and till 2nd august so it is not overdue but here it is for 4th july so it is overdue because it is calculating on the basis of today here it is being calculated on the basis of this 10th of july because this is not blank so this is no the due date was the 10th of july if i will make it 11 then this will be yes all right friends now the pending days pending days means if the task is pending means if it is not completed okay then only we will calculate this so i will put here if use end the status is not completed and another condition is the start date is less than or equal to today okay then take the formula as today minus start date else we will show blank just close the bracket hit the enter so we are getting here some numbers we can see and now to calculate the pending is we can use the vlookup function vlookup search key take this cell comma go to the list and select this range press f4 to freeze this comma 2 comma 1 we will take here 1 and just hit the enter it is showing the has any but if i will fill it then you can see i am getting the pending age also so what i can do to get the rid of this has any i can use the if error then in the last just put comma and blank just hit the enter you can fill this down till the end and similarly these two formulas also just select and fill down okay so here we can put another condition the start date is equal to blank then blank else this is enter now we can fill down all right friends so this is working perfectly now we can change the color of this just because to differentiate these are the formulas and here you can fill some lighter color align them center and reduce the font also and then fill some lighter blue color all right now we will create the quickly chart so first let us create the chart this one count by priority so to create that what i will do i'll select the priority column and we will select some more rows the extra one which we have taken and go to the insert then insert a chart by default it is taking the uh, this pie chart so let's make it smaller and we will quickly format this to format this let's go to the customize first let's take it 3d then go to the pie slices and we will change the color for high let's take this dark color and for medium let's take little lighter color and for 
low let's take more lighter color okay and then we will go to the legend and we will show the legend at bottom and if you want to add the data labels you can add the data labels from here choose here value so we can see the data labels quickly format the chart title also just double click on the chart title and you can put here task count by priority and you can change the size around 12 align it center bold and change the font as Arial and text color should be black let's keep this here and we will create another chart so what we can do we can copy this and we can paste that here to make it quickly and double click on this and we will just change the range so this time we will create by status which is column H so let's take the column H this range and hit the enter so this is by status now automatically and we can change the chart type also so let's take this donut chart and we can make it 3d also from here all right and change the title just double click here so in place of by priority let's make it by status all right friends so this is also done now let's copy it and paste here and this time we will create the chart we can see here that is for the overdue this one and then we have created for pending age so let's create this here also we will create for the overdue just double click and for overdue we have the range on column k so let's take here k16 till k42 and just hit the enter and we will change the chart type also so we can take this bar chart from here and let's make it 3d all right now we will quickly format this one also you can select this and delete and change the colors also so select the first bar and here we will fill this color at the data labels and if you want to change the color for this just double click and fill color this darker one so this is taking the 25 just because we have to change the formula here it is taking yes so what we can do we can again use if start date let's select the start date this cell equal to blank then blank else this formula just close the bracket and hit the enter let's fill this down okay so now it is taking the correct numbers if you want to remove this grid lines from here you can simply uncheck the major grid lines so that is removed now we can make the copy of this chart and we can paste that here and now we will change the range with this column m which is pending age just double click and set up and take the m 16 and take here m just enter so that is change you can see you can make it slightly bigger so just create some space for this let's make it slightly smaller all right friends now we can select this area and we can fill some lighter green color let's say this one and for this area we can make the title so let's select this and use merge cells and you can put the title here like task management tracker you can align this middle and center increase the font size take around 50 or let's take 35 and you can fill some dark green color and take the font as white now here to show the total task we can select this area and we can use the merge and we can fill some green color here let's say this one and then we can select this area also and then we can use merge and we can fill some different color here let's say this one now we can put here total task align this center and middle font we will take here impact font color we will take here white 
and font size we will take here around 25 now for this range we can use the count a function count a we will select the task name and till the end and just hit the enter so we are getting the count here align this center middle and font color let's take white the font name we will take impact and the size we will take around 90 okay so this is done all right friends now the one thing we forgot to do that is we have to create the drop down for the priority and status also so we can quickly select this and right click and go to the drop down we can change the color for high let's choose this red color and for low let's choose this one and for medium let's choose this one similarly for this also we can create the drop down right click and uh, drop down and for completed let's choose this green color for in progress this one and for not started this right done you can increase the column bit slightly so this is done all right friends so friends that is how you can create this task management tracker in google sheets friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching